Hi there, welcome to Miller's Laboratory. My name is Sue and I'm very happy that you're here. Today I'm going to be flipping through this journal for you that I am listing in my Etsy shop. And go grab a cup of coffee because this one is a whopper. It has a total of 274 pages. It's quite a, a big one. And I just think it's beautiful. It's chock full of really lovely things and I hope you'll take a few minutes to take a look with me. First of all, if this book looks a little familiar, it's because it is a redo. If you might have seen a video of a book that looked similar to this, I made a series of these, I think, in 2021, and there were still a few of them left in my shop that had not sold, and so I thought that it was time to um, pull them out and redo them. So I'm gonna do them one by one, and they will all be unique. Um, the book has uh, some little dangles here up in the corner, some antique buttons, a little tag, a bead, um, and this pretty gold locket. Some of that is reused from the original book and some of it is added in. You will also find in the pages inside, some of them I've reused the originals and some of them I've added in new things. The size of this book is about five and a half inches wide, about seven and a half inches tall. It's your standard Reader's Digest book. And then the thickness here at the open edge, I would put this at about two and a half inches. I've tied it closed with this pretty sari silk that has some gold woven into it. So let's go ahead and take that off and then we'll look at this book a little more closely. Now the first thing I did was remove the pages and sort through them and decide what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to uh, set aside for another book. And then I revamped the cover. And so the cover of this book, you can kind of see the pattern here, blue and red with this floral. It was very bright and so I took some um, gesso and some ivory paint and I sort of dulled that down a little bit and then sealed it. Then I added some Tim Holtz crackle paste and some uh, artist acrylic glaze over that in sepia to kind of highlight the cracks front and back here. And then I also sealed that with a spray sealer. And then finally I printed this beautiful image of a peony on some tissue paper and I decoupaged that on and then the entire cover was sealed with Mod Podge. So it feels pretty good, it feels pretty durable, but I have to be honest I've never used this crackle medium on a cover before and I'm not sure how durable it will be. It feels good. But I would not be throwing this book around in bags and carrying it around. I would more have this be your desktop journal that you use in one place. All right, so let's open it up and take a look. I've used some of these pretty Sam Pool fabric um, images throughout the book because I really like the soft, pretty look of them, and I wanted that to be the feel of this, this journal. A lot of the pages you're going to see here are digital. I'll try to point out when they're originals. This is a copy of an envelope. Inside here I just tucked a printout of the cover of some sheet music, Whistling Susanna. thought that was really sweet. Tuck that back in here. Um, this was made from a paper bag. On the other side, there's a slot pocket here with a tag in it. Nice, nice writing area there. An antique dictionary page. This is a digital, but isn't that lovely? And this is an image printed on vellum. From a really old book um, identifying postage stamps for collectors. Okay. 
one from a pretty old hymnal. I like that font. Just a nice image of a lady there. Here I have another tag that I made. And a bit of page from a children's book. I like that big font. This side there's a pull out. This is some old um, typing paper that I coffee stained. There's five signatures in this book. I don't know if I said that. Little flip page here, another copy of an envelope. Inside there, a tag. Here, I did a little bit of stenciling on that vellum and added this image. And I like how you can see the stenciling on both sides. the other half of that bag and I just made a little folded card in here that pretty image from some fountains that's the end of the first signature the second signature I've got a little clip on here with some of this pretty little tool polka dot tool a little journal card tucked underneath there made from a paint chip and then this folds down like that so that you can write in here and you can also write on this side so it makes a pocket and a flip out journaling area another just little pocket here embellished with some old stamps this is a page from an old bird identification book Here's a beautiful image of um, some countryside scenery. Pretty journal card. And a, just a tiny little tag here. It's got a little secret though. It actually folds out, out, out. So you can write a lot of things in there. And let's fold it back up and tuck it there away. Well, this page I did a little special thing. Um, this is tied closed so if I open this ribbon up there's a little pop-up there with some butterflies and then if you open it this way you can just journal in there. And behind it there is a pocket with this pretty little house shaped little lady there I like how she looks like she's peeking around that piece of paper there and I just tucked a tag inside there that's a tag I had in the original book just wanted to reuse it some old letterhead and then this page is also a reuse it's acetate so it's got a pocket on the other side, but you can see right through it. So the pocket, um, the you can see the journal card here. On this side, the pocket, you can do some journaling too if you want to. And then if you were to flip it back without the tag, it's also pretty that way. And there's the tag. This is some Italian, like... Italian to English book. It's a pretty little image there. Another little pop up here with this bird image, birds in the nest. And then this one is the same with a flip out here. Pretty journal card here with one of my photos of some peonies that I used. And that's just kind of folds closed with this image of again some sheet music just flips out 
Here's the other half of that acetate page. On this one I stitched a piece of um, eyelet. Here's that tag and this is made from a print of an old check. And when you flip that acetate over it still looks pretty looking from the other side. This is just a little tuck with another little envelope in it, printed. And I did use another piece of sheet music cover for this one as well, the Daisy, the Daisy song. I didn't really want to put thumb holes on these envelopes. You definitely could though if you're having trouble getting things in and out of there. By all means, it's going to be your book if you purchase it, so do what you like with it. This is from a French hymnal. This is vintage sheet music. And this one I've created a little... Um, this is a reuse. This was a page in the old book. I cut it in half and used it as a journal card, and it has a pocket in it. Isn't that a pretty image of a bride? with her veil just blowing out like that. I just love that. And you can journal a little bit on the other side. I, guess I want to put her so she can see her. Prettiness. Pocket. I just inset a little bit of a um, paper doily in there and stitched it. And another journal card here. to the third signature already. Little bunny tag in there. A belly band here. This pretty tag. The violets. So pretty. This is a really old this is a really old antique book page. It's got that rag paper. And this is from an old um, Catholic hymnal too, I believe. Actually, that one almost looks German. I'm not sure. Another pretty little tag. This is also a paper bag. Just a pretty big journal card in there. And then this is just an image that I glued on as a top tuck. And inside there, if you pull on this little ribbon, just using a print of a doily here as a journaling card. And then also this pretty image. I added that ribbon on there because that went in so far it almost got lost in there. This is printed from a book that I have. It's the cover. I love it so much I print it and I've used it a lot. There's a little flip. This pretty image of a rose. And here is a copy of a check used as a side tuck. I think that's a ruby and pearl. Uh, postcard. This is a great big envelope that I put in the center. This is a journal card that I'm reusing from the original book. And then on the other side here, I just tucked another one of these prints of this pretty botanical page from a botanical book. This is from an old uh, typing instruction book. Pretty digital there. Yeah, that's definitely German. That's from an old German, like, um, 
for a choir member. And I love that pretty corner peony image. I used a lot of peonies in here. I love them. Isn't that a pretty little image? I purchased that on eBay, and that's a print of it. A little pocket here. Little tag made out of a uh, paint chip with an angel on it. Page from an old guest book. And here's another one of my peony photos that I'm using as a journal card. Beautiful swan there. And some German. Just a pretty image of a lady. I love how this photo is, was just fading away so that all you can see is just her hair and her eyes and her flowers. Aren't they cute? These were confirmation pictures that I found and printed where they had this woman dressed up as an angel to pose in the pictures with the confirmand, which I thought was really neat. An old math book. There's another belly band. It's a pretty bird image. This is something I brought from the other book, just a little card with some coffee dyed um, graph paper in it to do some journaling in. And here is another journaling card. Here's a little page that flips with a tag inside, image of some roses, and here I have a print of this old um, trade card and that just creates a little tab to fold this down and you can write in there. And this might be my favorite thing in the book. It's just very simple, but this beautiful photo of a bride. And I just backed it with this old French, really old French book page. Pretty tag here. Well, I guess that's a journal card. There's no tag there. This is a tag. Their little bride. I tried to use uh, images that were flowers or I used women or girls that were dressed in white for this book. This is from an old um, schoolgirl's notebook. Let me have tucked up in here just a pretty little, uh, I guess it's a tag writing on the back. We have a similar one on the other side here and in here I just tucked another one of those pretty prints. So you can put your own thing in there. You can use this for something else or you could just write on the back of it and use it for journaling. Uh, journal card tucked in here with a tab. This is a little up tuck made out of this butterfly.
from an old opera book. I use that a lot too. All right, here's a pretty um, card. If we open that up, this is also a pop out and you can see the pretty lady down inside there. Three dimensional. I used to be a card maker and I taught classes to rubber stamping and making cards and I loved to do pop-ups. You're starting to see those more and more in my books. Here's another pretty little image, another one I purchased of some little girls with the nun walking down the street. And this is a, a print of an envelope, just a little tag in here. And this pretty journaling card from um, Sheet Music Cover again. So the page opens up and there's some layered pockets here. A little peony image with that little tag. That could be written right over, I think. It's not very dark. It's this cute little trade card with the cat. It's a digital. That's not an original. I'm not trying to fool anybody. And a pretty little tag with some butterflies. And here's a page that flips out with some pretty flowers. And that brings us to the end of the book. If you made it to the end, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this journal. You can find it in my Etsy shop, along with some other lovely journals. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.